Hello students today we learn how our RBMK nuclear reactor works. Yes sir it will be interesting and fun. RBMK nuclear reactor is a class of graphite moderated nuclear power reactor designed and built by the Soviet Union. The name refers to its unusual design where, instead of a large steel pressure vessel surrounding the entire core, each fuel assembly is enclosed in an individual 8 cm diameter pipe, called a channel, which allows the flow of cooling water around the fuel. Yes sir I think I know something about this type of nuclear reactor. Please tell what you know. I think it is a type of nuclear reactor which caused the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. Yes you are right. So let's move further information about nuclear reactor. The RBMK is an early generation 2 reactor and the oldest commercial reactor design still in wide operation. Certain aspects of the RBMK reactor design, such as the active removal of the K heat, the positive void coefficient properties, the 4.5 meters 14 feet 9 in graphite displacer ends of the control rod and instability at low power levels, contributed to the 1986 Chernobyl disaster, in which an RBMK experienced a reactivity excursion and subsequent meltdown during a mishandled test, and radioactivity was released over a large portion of Europe. The disaster prompted worldwide calls for the reactors to be completely decommissioned. However, there is still considerable reliance on RBMK facilities for power in Russia. Most of the flaws in the design of RBMK-1000 reactors were corrected soon after the Chernobyl accident and a dozen reactors have since been operating without any serious incidents for over 20 years. While nine RBMK blocks under construction were cancelled after the Chernobyl disaster, and the last of three remaining RBMK blocks at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant were finally shut down in 2000, as of 2019 there were still 10 RBMK reactors and 3 small up 6 graphite moderated light water reactors operating in Russia, though all have been retrofitted with a number of safety updates. The only differences between RBMK-1000 and RBMK-1500 reactors is that the RBMK-1500 is cooled with less water, thus more of the water turns into steam, and it uses less uranium. The only reactors of this type and power output are the ones at Ignalina nuclear power plant. The RBMK P2400 is rectangular instead of cylindrical, and it was intended to be made in sections at a factory for assembly in situ. It was designed to have a power output of 2400 MWE. No reactor with this power output has ever been built, with the most powerful one currently being as of 2018 the 1750 MWE upper. So children it's enough for today we will continue it tomorrow. Thank you sir. Thanks sir for today's class it was really great. Thanks for watching our video like video and subscribe the channel for next video.